Good morning, family and friends. Welcome back to Caribbean Duck. I'm in the garden once again, and I'm gonna show you the progress of our bok choy. And I'm gonna make a nice noodle soup with bok choy straight so out from here, our garden. Let's get started. I got some mustard greens growing in between here. I got some Malabar spinach as well. Seedlings that I start. And here I got some kale and some salad greens over here this is our basil that's coming right along and today in just four weeks this is what's going on and it even started getting flowers in here too so and it's time to harvest what i'm gonna do right now is harvest the ones Over here, I'm gonna set aside some of the greens for some organic treats for the chicks. Now I'm gonna let the chickens and the ducks out so they can get their treats. Over here I'm gonna get some fresh scallions or green onions for our recipe. Now I'm gonna get some lemongrass to add to our recipe. Now I'm back in the kitchen to give everything in a good wash. Make sure there's no dirt or sand on none of the leaves. So now I'm gonna prepare our scallions, our green onions for our recipe. I'm just gonna cut the bottom part off and give it a good wash. Next I'm gonna snip the roots off and I'm gonna prepare this and set it aside so I can replant it. So we can continue harvesting new scallions. It's as easy as that. Next, I'm gonna prepare our lemongrass. I'm gonna clean it and wash it. This is gonna add to our layer of flavor. So what I'm gonna do here is keep the leafy green part so I can make some teas. And the bottom stalk is what I'm gonna use for my recipe.
Next I'm gonna cut our lemongrass in pieces and set it aside. And here we go with our scallions. I'm gonna cut it very fine and set that aside as well for our recipe. So what I'm gonna do is cut the white parts very small and the green part I'm gonna cut a little bit larger and what I can do also is separate the white part and cook that prior to putting in the greens because the greens will cook faster than the white part. Over here I'm straining some annatto infused oil so I can saute our vegetables. I got about three teaspoon of annatto oil here. So for our ingredients today, I have parsley, celery, I got turmeric, tomatoes, some shallots, green onions, our lemongrass, I got some dried mushrooms, pimento berries, thyme, piece of ginger, soy sauce, salt and pepper, and I'm gonna leave out the allspice because I'm using the pimento berry. I have some noodles, and this is our greens, our bok choy, all chopped up and ready to use. Now I'm gonna cut our celery stalks. I'm gonna use two types of celery here, our celery stalks, and then our Chinese celery, which is more fragrant and gonna give lots of flavor. This is our Chinese celery that I regrow in the garden, fresh. This is what it looks like. everything up finely next I'm gonna cut a few sprigs of uh, parsley and set it aside Now I'm going to cut some shallots in small pieces. Now I'm going to prepare a piece of turmeric, fresh turmeric. I'm going to scrape the outer skin off and cut it up in small pieces because this is great for the immune system. I'm going to add this to our recipe. Over here, I'm gonna add some of the tomatoes that I got from the garden. I'm gonna use this as garnish. Just gonna cut it and set it aside so we can use it at the end. Here's our ginger that I'm gonna scrape the outer skin off. A small thumb sized piece of ginger should work.
couple of sprays of thyme that I'm gonna prepare and set aside as well. Here I'm gonna prepare the boiled three eggs from our hens to add to our recipe. Here I'm adding three teaspoons of infused natto oil to our pot. Look at that rich color. Add into our layer of flavor. Next, we're going in with some ginger. Our shallots, scallion, and turmeric. Give it a mix, make sure nothing is burning. Now it's our celery and parsley. Now I'm going in with a little bit of thyme. This is our lemongrass for added layer of flavor. Our pimento berries. So now we're gonna give it a good mix again. And let all of this infuse with the oil and bring out all that flavor. Next time we're gonna go in with some garlic about four cloves of garlic I got here. I'm gonna cut very small and add it to our pot. Here I'm adding our mushrooms that I rehydrated in some warm water. Here I'm gonna add the white part of our bok choy because this takes a little bit more time to cook. So I'm gonna add this first, let it steam down. Here I'm adding about two teaspoons of soy sauce. And I'm gonna add about six cups of water. Next I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, give it a good stir. Next, I'm gonna add my noodles. Now you can use any kind of noodles here. I'm just gonna break it up in quarts and let it cook.
Here I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt just for taste. Mix it in and then I'll cover it and let it simmer this just for a little while. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the greens. Now this is gonna cook very rapid, so I'm putting this towards the last, just for a few minutes. Gonna add a little piece of a golden ray butter. Gonna let it simmer there one more time, just a few minutes. And then I'm gonna stir everything in and mix our greens in. And we're almost done here. Make sure we submerge everything and it's well cooked. Our noodles are done. And basically this soup is finished. Most of my Caribbean folks are familiar with the next ingredient. It's called Marmite. Very nutritional, add a layer of flavor. At this time, folks, if you find this video interesting, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, ring that notification bell, and share my video if you can, please. I appreciate it very well. And you guys have a wonderful day. This is my bok choy, fresh out of the garden, bok choy and noodle soup. Have a wonderful day, folks. Stay safe.